Now with all of this done, most of the stuff that we need in order to be using HTMX and then also Tailwind CSS, we can now move actually to the part of Golang and the stuff that's going to allow us to interact with a database. And that's exactly what we'll start by doing, and that is setting up our database. So let's here inside of our editor create a new file that's called db.go and we need to start by defining our package, in this case it is main, and then we want to do a couple of stuff. First, let's define in here a variable that we will use in order to be able to access our database connection, and this is going to be of type sql.db, so it also needs to be a pointer actually to sql.db, and then we want to define two different functions. First, let's start by creating a function that is going to allow us to open a connection to our database. So let's go ahead and type in here func, and then let's call this one OpenDB, and it is going to return a possible error. So in here, we want to go ahead and say DB, and then we also want to go ahead and grab the error from this function, and we'll go ahead and use here the SQL package, and let's go ahead and type in here the open method. And the first thing that we want to pass in here is our driver, which is going to be the SQLite free driver. Now, before we go ahead and continue, let's go ahead and actually install this driver inside of our packages. So let's go ahead and in here type go get dash u and then go ahead and paste this package name. And as you can see, this was now added to our project. So we can now move back here and we want to go ahead and import this into our particular file. So let's go ahead and do the following. And with all of this typed, we can now go ahead and continue and this particular driver that is going to allow us to connect via an SQL database is now installed and correctly set up. And the second argument is going to be our database connection, which in this case, it is simply an SQLite free file. So let's go ahead and say SQLite free .db, and let's go ahead and save this file. Now, before we continue, we also want to ensure that this file exists. So let's go ahead and say in here, create a new file that's called SQLite free .db. Now with the database file created, let's go ahead and handle this error. So if the error is different than nil, we want to simply go ahead and return it. Now, if all of this goes well, which essentially means that we are able to connect to the database correctly, we want to go ahead and define this variable right over here uh, and actually not define, but we want to assign the value here of DB to this variable that we've previously defined. So let's go ahead and type here DB all caps and then we want to say that this is equal to db and finally we need to go ahead and return the error which in this case it is nil. Now with all of this done the next thing is for us to go ahead and close the connection to the database so let's go ahead and type in here fung then close db and finally we also want to go ahead and return an error and let's go ahead and do the following return db.close and since this function also returns an error, we can simply go ahead and return here inside of our function. And finally, let's go ahead and also define a function that is going to allow us to essentially migrate our database and set it up for us to be able to use it inside of our to-do list application. So let's go ahead and paste this in here. And as you can see, we are going to essentially run this SQL query which is going to create a table named tasks if it doesn't exist. And in here, we're going to have an ID, which is the primary key. Then we'll also have a title, which is uh, a text. And then we'll have in here the completed value, which is of type Boolean, uh, which in this case, inside of SQLite free, it is going to be one or zero. It is going to be zero if it's false and one if it's true. And finally, we also want to keep track of the position of our particular task. So we are able to essentially drag and drop in order to be able to reorder all of our tasks inside of our to-do list application. And after running this, we want to essentially go ahead and grab the error and also ignore here the SQL.result. And if the error is different than nil, we'll go ahead and return it. If not, we simply go ahead and return nil in here. Now with all of this set up, let's go ahead and move back to our main.go file and 
inside of this main function, we want to go ahead and connect to our database, handle the error, and also go ahead and set up our database. So let's say that the error equals uh, open database. And if the error is different than nil, we simply want to go ahead and panic this program with the error that we get back from this function. Then we also want to go ahead and defer the closing of the database. And finally, we want to go ahead and do this exact same thing, but for the setup DB. So let's go ahead and also remove this column because we've already gone ahead and defined this error value in here. And after doing that, we can go ahead and save this file. And now if we go back here to our project folder and we go ahead and type in here go run dot and we go ahead and run this, as you can see, we get no errors back. And that's because the connection was successfully established and also it went ahead and created the particular table that we've defined. And just to make sure that our database was set up correctly, as you can see, I've established a connection here inside of table plus to our SQLite database. And as you can see here, we have our tasks table, which has in here the ID title completed and also our position.